What do I do with this, mother? Locate Abu Mimi Kingdom, where His Royal Majesty is the Abalanze, reigns as the king. There is a man named Omesu who lives in the palace. He is the only sorcerer that is still left in Abu Mimi. Give him this letter. He will know what to do. Do not leave Abu Mimi until Obesu tells you to leave. <clears throat> Mother, why would you send me to a sorcerer? <laughs> Omesu of Abu Mimi is surely a man, but has become more than a man. Once he gets this letter, from you, he will prove to you that it's not just a sorcerer. Do not be in a hurry to leave Abba Mimi. Umesu is going to expose you to great things of life. Hmm? Mm -hmm. How do I locate this Abba Mimi? As you go, keep moving right. Keep moving right. There are forces that will manifest to force you move left. Always remember that left is destruction. Keep moving right. You will surely find yourself in Abomini. I humble myself before beautiful maidens walking in the bush. But why would you maidens block the road? We are the maidens of our town. The road we are about to follow leads to our great one, Genestrin. We are the maidens of this 
kingdom wash their bodies. And it is forbidden for any man to go near that stream today, the last I killed the month. Well, I do not plan to step into your stream. I am heading to Abomini. Well, if you're sure you're traveling to Abomini, then you must follow this way. There are forces that will manifest to force you move left. Always remember that left is destruction. Keep moving right. You will surely find yourself in Abomini. The road you are pointing to is surely to my left, and I know it will lead to my destruction. Beautiful maidens, you are seeing me for the first time. Why would you want to destroy me? We don't have too much time to spend with you. And we are not going to allow you anywhere near our sacred Wangene stream. So if you must follow this way, you must wait here until tomorrow. Well, I cannot wait till tomorrow because I do not have all the time in the world. My mother told me I must be at Abomini before noon tomorrow. It is clear to us that you want to dare us. You call those beautiful maidens because you actually felt you were beautiful. But if you will not do as we say, you will remain here. I will treat you like an intruder that you are. Mm. The reason given by Ezra Balanza for his communicating us from Abomini land to some is good. But to me, the sack is unacceptable. I want us to understand that the battle line has been drawn. And we must do something to force ourselves back to our land. Oh, Sazwa, are you not planning the impossible? Our sack was ordered by the king. And there is no way we can force ourselves back into the kingdom. We are going to gradually destroy the king. We plan to murder him. And when we murder the king, we find ourselves back in our land. This sounds so easy to you, but to me, it is a near impossibility. Have you forgotten, Omisu? It can never be possible for you to destroy the king when Omisu is there. Omisu himself is not a deity. Omisu is not a problem. If Omisu we identify him as a problem, we plan a murder of Omisu and achieve our goals. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised that you are the one saying this. Have you forgotten who Omesu is? His life is deposited in the hearts of the Omelabo of Abomini. And if you hope to kill the Omesu, you must first kill the Omelabo of Abomini. What are you saying then? Do you mean we remain here and die in a foreign land? Mm. No. We need to settle down and plan. If we rush into any action, we are bound to regret the actions later.
we were making mockery of us. But we danced because we loved the lyrics of the song. So now I ask you, why would you want to make mockery of the maidens of our town? Are you not the one she is talking to? Why create a song to make jest of the maidens of Awato? Why? Are you making jest of us? I'm asking you, are you? Ha! Why did you do that? Why did you push me? I did not push you. Ha! I pushed the bushman. Oh my God. Where is the bushman? What's the meaning of this? Is he a spirit or what? I wonder why beautiful women are always looking for trouble. Your Majesty. Your Majesty, whatever must be done, must be done urgently. Adana is in a very critical condition. And if nothing urgent is done, Honestly, if, it, if nothing serious is done, she may die. Prince Odilibe, please calm down. I want you to understand that Princess Adana will not die. That's what you keep telling me. Yet nothing positive is happening. You are the physician of this palace. And it's your duty to find solution to whatever problem she has. Well, I think you both need to calm down. Calm down and realize that you're talking about my daughter here. It is this same issue that the Minister here was discussing with me before you came in. Your Majesty, I am the Prince and I deserve to know what is happening to my sister. What were you explaining to the King? What I am going to say now must be kept between men. You must not mention this to your sister. I give you my word. I will never mention anything to her. The witches and the wizards that got sacked by the king are responsible for the ailment. They sent an evil spirit that possessed her. That is why she's having the nightmares. But nobody must hear this. I retain you in the palace here because you practice positive sorcery. And now that you have found out that the princess is possessed, by a sort of spirit. What are you doing about it? Your Majesty, that is why I asked us to come down. I want us to understand something. The princess will get better. In fact, she will become very okay soon. Mm, very well. Very well. However, I want the news of the princess's sickness to stay within the walls of this palace. It must never be heard outside the walls of this palace. Your Majesty, I sincerely think that warning is for Prince Odili, but he has said and not me. No, it's not for me. Because I don't discuss palace matters with outsiders. I know exactly what the king wants, and it shall be so. <laughs> Adana, 
You look troubled. Are you okay? Even in your quarters, I'm still having the same dreams. Is it the witches? You know about them? What do you know? You are the princess of this kingdom. And I want you to understand that a lot of people want you dead. They want you to die because they know that if you die, this kingdom will be thrown into agony. But I want you to leave. I want you to take that decision that you will leave. Choose that you will leave and they will be helpless. Why would they want to kill me? What did I do? Don't worry. This ailment is temporal. You shall be well again. Something tells me that you can solve this problem immediately. Why are you not doing that? Your Majesty, I can solve the problem, but not immediately like you said. The issue here is witchcraft. Witchcraft is being practiced by men and women, but the art itself is holding on life. I'm pleading with you, Your Majesty, to allow me to deal with this issue slowly. But Zazwa threatened me. He threatened to gradually destroy the kingdom and return home. And are you bothered about that, Your Majesty? Why should you be? You made a noble move when you banished them from this land. The majority of our people are singing your praise. They are happy with what you did, and I sincerely think that should be your concern, and not of Sazwa and his evil colleagues. But tell me. If money can solve this, and tell me how much money, I'll provide it. Your Majesty, money was never the issue, and money is still not the issue. The issue is witchcraft, and we are very cautious when dealing with witchcraft. One thing I know for sure is that Adana will soon be okay from this ailment. I just want you to allow me, permit me, let me handle this mother. At my pace, Your Majesty. Very well. But I want you to go into her room now and see if there's anything you can do. You never can tell when minimum efforts can yield maximum results. I can stand everything, but not, not negative sorcery. No, I can't stand it. I can't. It is possible you've humbled so many men with your beauty. I acknowledge that, but I must tell you, I am not one of those men. Enen Yenwite can never be moved by your beauty. You are in the center of Asampede forest, where I, Asampede, am the goddess of this forest. Let me have the letter you have in your bag or I will terminate your life here in this forest. The only Asampede I know is a fish which is alleged to be of good taste. It is possible you are a fish. I must tell you, I do not like fish. So I beg you, beautiful goddess, grant me access. Are you giving me the letter or do you want me to kill you here in this forest? The letter I have here was written by my mother and it is for Omesu of Abomin. There is no way I can give you that letter. Hmm. I already told you that I'm a goddess. Do you mean to tell me that you're not afraid of a goddess? Different entities have different powers. And what triggers fear in the people of this town may be what another town uses as a tool for their festival. Do not be hostile to a man you do not know. Please leave my... Or what? I should leave the road or what? Look behind you. Look behind me and say what? Behind you is the man of your dreams. Certainly not me. Leave Enenye to continue on his journey. Okulabia, how did you get here? What are you doing here? 
I know what you had always wanted from Okalabia. And I will give it to you. I came here today just because of you. You know, I've never been led by any man here in this village before. But I can do it for you. Anything for you. <laughs> you... You are removing your immaculate gown just because you are ready to be laid in the bush. On the same forest you called your own forest. Why are you such a terrible disgrace in the cycle of the aboriginal authorities? You! You used me to escape from the hall! Who are you? And why would you use such, such powers on a man like me? There is only one wise thing you must do right now. Leave my path, or I shall leave with you. <laughs> do you ever know the person you are talking to? This is Okolabia, the lord of Wizardry Forest. Now I demand that you get down on your knees and worship me, or else I shall kill you here. Ha <laughs> I now see clearly that the time shall come in the future when I shall need the services of forest authorities like you to achieve positive results. Do not force me to make you the first forest authority I shall cage. <laughs> you, you are standing before me and you are telling me that you can cage me. <laughs> 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 you have drawn the first blood on an innocent man who has done you no wrong. Now we shall know who is the man and who was the man. <laughs> the fact that you defeated Okolabia the way you did shows that you're a mighty man in battle. Readily, I have fallen in love with you and I shall take you to my place. Mm. And what shall we be doing at your place? It's a very wonderful place. A place where all things are possible. I have seen that you're a great man. Follow me to my place and grant me the opportunity of treating you like a great man. <laughs> I ask you, how many men have you seduced before? I have never seduced any man before. But all I know is that many men out there want me, but I resist them all. Follow me to my place and I will treat you special. I thank you for your offer, but I am not interested. Move away. <laughs> that is my name. I am not surprised you know my name in full. You are a goddess like you said. And it is no big deal for a goddess to know the name of a great man like me. But I ask you, why call my name in full? Enene, <sighs> you have stolen my heart. But I must tell you the truth. The man you're going to see in Abo Mimi is a dead man, and I'm sure you're not traveling to see a dead man. Follow me to my place, and I shall introduce you to the mystery of the Lord of Abarijun. I see. Where is your place? Somewhere down there. Ah. Left again. Left is destruction. Right is my way. I will not say it again. Move away. Ah!
cause you evil powers of the laws of aborigin to depart from this woman. She cannot continue to suffer on the account of what she doesn't know. I command you to leave this woman this minute. I don't know why we are here looking at Tomesu. We can't continue to allow him with this exorcism. I curse you to depart and never return. Don't bother yourselves. I want to clearly understand what Tomesu is up to. You brought the punishment upon yourselves and you must suffer alone. You cannot make an innocent woman to be part of this. I command you to leave. I am doing everything possible to make you whole. They are truncating what we are doing because they don't want you to leave. Make a decision that you must leave. I saw myself in a cage where I was stranded. It was as if it was the end. Someone opened the cage for me. Just as I was about coming out of the cage, finally, I was dragged back into the cage. Adana, I can tell you immediately that you are not going to belong in that cage. Very soon it shall happen. You are going to become free permanently. I don't know, there is nothing happening to you. There is nothing wrong with you. You are sick. Just like every other person can be sick. Believe me when I say that you shall soon be okay. Do not dream on this remaining into this. Just go back and sleep and understand you are surrounded by people that love you. And then Yanwite, a man of Imezi, is here to see the wise of Mesu. What makes you think that the wise of Mesu would like to see a pushed man like you? I'm sure he will not be happy if he finds out you turn me back at the gate. I have a letter for him. If your mission is simply to deliver a letter to him, I will advise you, hand me over the letter, let me deliver it myself. Sorry, I cannot give you the letter. I will deliver it myself. And I'm sure it will not cost you anything to let me in. This is Enen Yanwite, a man from Imezi. He's here to see uh, the wise old person. Can you please help me explain to him that Bushmen do not enter the palace of Ezambalanze of Abomey? Wait, 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 This, this, this man may look like a bushman quite right. But, but, 
there is something about him that I have never seen in another person. Something like what? Call with me. No! I am still interrogating the bushman and you cannot just take him in like that. I am seeing you for the first time today and I have been friendly with you. Why are you treating me like an old enemy? You cannot just enter the palace like that. Hand me over the letter, let me deliver it myself. Mm. Fine. First, I will give you my sword. If you can handle the sword, then you can handle the letter. Not even handle the sword that protects the letter. That means you cannot handle the letter. Please take me. See? I want you. I ask you to let me in. Follow me. I am not supposed to ever say that I am confused. But I admit before you this night that I am terribly confused. Too many things are going wrong in this kingdom and I am confused. Absolutely frustrated. And I'm telling you this night that I admit I am not without you. I am pleading with you from the deepest part of my heart to make an appearance and direct me. I am so happy that you answered me. Please, where did we go wrong? What is the way forward? You need a new face. I don't understand what you mean by I need a new face. You need a new voice but you need a new process i have this feeling that there is something 
you are trying to tell me. And I want you to tell me what you want me to hear. What do you mean by I need a new process? It shall not be long. I am going to send you help. The help will come freely. It must be allowed to operate freely. Always realize that men are bound to make deadly mistakes when they take aboriginal decisions without involving the gods and the ancestors. Wait for the help that I am sending. It has been years since you promised to send me an helper. I have waited and waited and waited for this helper to come, and nothing is happening. As I speak, the princess is sick in this palace. I have done everything humanly possible to get her back on her feet and nothing is working. All eyes are on me to heal her of this strange element. If I fail to heal the princess, I will lose respect, I will lose relevance in this kingdom, and this is something I don't want to happen. Where is the helper you promised to send me? I am pleading with you to show yourself, manifest yourself, and show me the way forward. What am I going to do? What must I do to have Princess Adana back on her feet? I am nothing without you. Yes, who is there? It's me, sir. Amadi. You have a visitor from Imezi. Take him to the compound. Let him wait there. I'm coming to see him there. Okay. What do you want to put me to trouble? Eh? I'm sorry. The message I have for him is urgent. Okay. He said he should pass him. So let's pass him. Follow me. The witches and the wizards that got sacked by the king are responsible for the ailment. They sent an evil spirit that possessed her. And that's why she's having the nightmares. But nobody must hear this. What can you say is the problem with the princess? I cannot say I know much. But I know that this sickness is not ordinary. Can you explain what you mean by that? I say it's not ordinary because even the princess herself does not even know what is wrong with her. You know, she's always having these nightmares of guns, poison, fire, and swords, and everything that can cause death. And then when she wakes up, she gets worse. I think you and the king should explore other options. Instead of waiting for Omiso, the wise one, because he is actually helpless in this case. I do not want the princess to die. Thanks for your concern. I appreciate it. The one thing I can tell you is that we now know what the problem is. And we're making efforts to solve it. Just be rest assured that my sister will not die from this sickness.
Are you from Amudala? I am not from Amudala, but I know Amudala very well. Why do you ask? There was this woman of Amudala that was once married in this land. Her name was Ngoku. She was a noble woman. She was disgraced by some highly placed men in this land who heard that she was barren. She left this land in sorrow. And a man like me was unable to do anything to save that great woman, that noble woman that taught our maidens how to live high moral life. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing that same woman. And I want to ask you, are you in any way related with this Moku of Amodala? She is my mother. You are not serious, are you? Yes, I am serious. She sent me to you with this letter that only you should read. Are you confirming to me that Moku of Amudala is still alive? Yes, she's still alive. And she instructed me not to leave the palace in a hurry. She says you will understand better when you read the letter. I'm going to send someone that will pick you to the royal kitchen where you can eat anything you like. I will see you after reading this letter. Thank you. My name is Nwoku. I am sure you will remember Nwoku that was married to Oganigwe. I was forced to leave Abomimi. I was humiliated for nothing. I left in agony and I kept asking God to rise and vindicate me. I met a man of Imezi that married me briefly before he died. That man of Imezi did in a month what Oganigwe was unable to do in years. Still, he called me barren. The man of Imezi got me pregnant, and the bearer of this letter is my son. I am sending him to you because he has some wild powers. He can do wonders with his eyes. Countless number of times I have seen him kill wild animals with his eyes. I don't know if this power is positive or negative. I cannot also say I know the origin of this power. You are the only one I remember that can help. This is why I sent him to you. Take him as a son and guide him. He is humble and ever ready to learn. Please don't turn me down. Why should I turn you down when it is very clear to me that the help I have been asking for is finally here? <laughs> I cannot turn you down. <laughs> the 
this is nice. This is surely the best letter I have read in all my life. Can you tell me all the things you can do with your eyes? This is unbelievable. How did you do that? I think it is the power of imagination. I imagine anything and it happens just like that. I listened to you when you said your mom told you not to be in a hurry to leave this land. But I want to ask you on your own. How long do you intend to stay in this kingdom? The plot against this land is elaborate and deadly. I intend to stay here until the evil powers are completely tamed. Did your mother tell you that I know exactly what you know? I am sure I know something that many do not understand. The truth is, I do not even know what it is. And so, I want you to teach me. Teach me this thing that I know, and teach me how I can make it better for human race. The totality of Moku's humility is deposited in you. I can see it clearly that you have a huge part to play in the future of this kingdom. Come with me. His name is Ene Nyewete Obonyuwako. He's a man from Imezi. But I'm pleading with you not to judge him from his background. Let us judge him based on what he can do himself. Bushman, what can you do? Your Highness, this man here has come to assume duties as your personal assistant. <laughs> I'm surprised at you. I can't believe you're the one saying this. Wait. <laughs> I told you I needed a personal assistant quite right. What on earth will I be doing with a weird creature like this? A bushman like this? Your Highness, in this palace, we have enough royal wares that can transform this man to look like one of us, packed in our royal wardrobe. I'm pleading with you not to judge this man in a hurry, based on appearance alone. He is a great man, and I want to leave you with him. You will discover how great he is. Nice. 
assuming but not conceding that you will be my personal assistant, what will you be doing for me? The back of a man is the most important part of his body. A man sees his front, which means he's in charge of what happens in front of him. The larger parts of what kills a man come from his back. In Imezi, where I come from, men do not joke with their backs. So, when I become your personal assistant, I will do just one noble thing. Watch your back. Why do I have this uncanny feeling that you talk too much? Well, I am sorry if that is the impression you have of me. I have this habit of explaining things in greater details. As the heir apparent to the throne of this kingdom, I am sure you are a very, very busy man. And you have lots of things to occupy your mind. There is a tendency you will forget important things. And so I volunteer to remind you of those important things. But at least you accept the fact that you are a bushman. Well, all men on earth are the same. Because the world was thick bush before development started. By that, are you by your wildest imagination, believing that you are the same with us? Why are you looking at that portrait like that? You see why I said you're a bushman? Bushman? You've not seen a thing like that before. My prince, you look more noble in real life than you do in that portrait. Meaning? Meaning it is not just an ordinary portrait. The artist deposited particles of witchcraft in that portrait. So, how will you describe this at work. Your Majesty, this is charcoal on canvas. And if you look at the shedding, the gradation, the way the portrait is positioned, it looks as though the prince is emerging from the background. <laughs> Your Majesty. In fact, this is the very best I have done since ever I started as an artist. Your Majesty. Apart from being an artwork, it contains some metaphysical properties that will be protecting the prince. <laughs> hmm. I don't like the artwork. Your Majesty. I don't like. I like the portrait. Oh, thank you, my prince. <laughs> you like? Yes. Well. My son, whose picture you have painted, I says he likes it. Can't deny him that. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you, my prince. But there is something about that piece of work that I'm not comfortable with. Some strikes me odd. The artist deposited particles of witchcraft in that portrait. What do you mean by that? The man who presented himself as the artist was never the artist. This portrait was created in Eba Kingdom. It passed through a terrible ritual process and the aim is to ensure that men of this kingdom do not grow old. My prince, they will all die once they clock 60. Where do you get all this that you're saying? The only thing that comes to my mind right now is to set this portrait ablaze. But that will not solve our problem. We need something mightier than fire to quench the evil 
that is already looming in this kingdom. I want you to tell me all you know about this evil and how we can stop it. Mm. My prince, am I still a bushman? What do you mean by that? You want to hold me to ransom? Because you've seen what I cannot say. Despite your deep utterances, I still maintain you're a bushman. Mm. My prince, two options. Accept that I'm not a bushman, or you accept that every man on earth is a bushman, including you. Do this, and I will tell you what we must do to solve the problem in this land. The choice is yours, my prince. The man of Imezi is going to tell them the secrets if we do nothing. You are the head. What do you want us to do? Right from the beginning, that something was wrong. I knew. Osasura tried so hard to defend his work, but I felt in my bone that something was not right. The same Osasura who presented this work was never the man who did it. This portrait was created in Eba Kingdom by a man named Odalema. Odalema? The same Odalema I banished from this land when we discovered that it was one of the evil ones that were destroying our land. So what is his own in this? Before he left this land, he placed a curse on the land. This curse holds that no man of this land will exceed 60 years of age. And then, he waited for an opportunity to spread the curse. That opportunity came when he was asked to make a portrait of our noble prince. Do you want to say that you're not going to stop this man? He is telling them everything. There is something about this man of Imezi that I don't understand. He is representing something mightier than sorcery. Must settle down and figure out what we must do. Well, I believe this man. I believe this man because that is exactly what we felt in this land. I believe him. So, what do we do? The witches you banished are gathered somewhere, and they are monitoring whatever you do here with the use of this fan. I remember this fan was presented by Emma. That was before we discovered that she was one of the evil witches destroying our land. Anything with her? Please, as you can see, there is a problem in this land. I don't know what to do. You are the one seeing what we are not seeing. Can you please tell us what should we do to solve the problem?
this man of Himes came with something that we must settle down and unmask. The fire has been taken care of. The witches are now blind wherever they are. They cannot see what goes on here anymore, but that has not solved the problem. Enenye, Enenye, please, 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 enough of this. We've heard you and we believe you. What can be done to solve the problem of this land permanently? I will tell you. Men of this land must be selected to travel to Eba Kingdom. They should not go to Odalema because Odalema cannot solve the problem. There is a tree in Eba Kingdom named Osisikanku. That is where he hung the 60 evil threads that terminate life at 60. These threads must be lowered and set ablaze. And only then will the problems in this land Who are you people? This is our board where we carry out our business. What are you doing here? It is very clear that you want to dare me. It is remarkable that we fought in one side against some enemies who don't even know their background. It means that Asampiti and Okolobia are one. Should we now do something on a strange temple? Oh, come on. I am a goddess and you are the god. Mm. We can do anything, anyway, and sanctify this place when we are living. You... You are the most beautiful goddess that ever lived. And I wonder why I would have you and look as well. You know, I'd always wanted you, but you've been through and avoiding me. <laughs> yeah. What happened? I thought they are gone. I brought you here to come and work, not to start a deadly romance. It will destroy this kingdom and I'll be held responsible for it. Where did you go? We came together and we fought together. You cannot live without me. Your end has come. It is 
time to leave. We must fortify this temple. Strength forces are winning us in our temple, and it is not good for us. Hmm. <clears throat> well, you are the head of the warriors. So you gather your men together tomorrow and head for Iba. As your majesty pleases. No, my prince, there is something I want to ship in. It is established that our bomb in me is a land of warriors. And I know you can always get credible warriors that will embark on the trip with you. But I'm insisting you make demand from Imezi, part of that mission. I know why, wise one. The only thing you know is that the name of the tree is Osise Kampun and that it is located somewhere in Eba Kingdom. If you are asked now to describe the tree, you will be able to describe the tree. And if you are asked to tell us the exact location of the tree in Eba Kingdom, I am very sure you will fumble. If I get to Eba Kingdom, I can trace the tree. You are going to trace the tree by asking indigenous of Eba Kingdom to direct you to the tree. What if you get to Eba Kingdom and you realize that the tree is their sacred tree? Do you think anybody will direct you to it? Okay, what if you get to Eba Kingdom and the tree happens to be a tree that is common everywhere in Eba Kingdom? You will know the very tree we are looking for and you will be confused in the process. I agree with Omesu on this. I do. There is no need for us to make mistakes when there is a man to lead us peacefully. The journey commences tomorrow and you will take the man from Emezi along with you. I feel wise and messy. knows what is wrong with me. My princess, are you possibly saying that wise and messy use his powers to afflict you with such strange ailments? Said so. Why is is too good to do a thing like that? I feel he knows the solution to my problem and how to solve it permanently. But what baffles me is why he has refused to do so. Forgive me, my princess, but I don't think that wise Omesu will know what to do about your ailment, and he won't. No. My princess, I have good news for you. My ears are itching to hear the good news. We are right on the verge of unmasking the forces behind your strange ailment. When this happens, you shall be normal again. Where are the forces from? Are they forces from this kingdom? Or forces from another land? The forces actually are firing from Iba kingdom. We are sending men tomorrow to that kingdom to trace a particular tree called Usisi Kampu. I want you to spend this night praying for the men we are sending to succeed in their quest. Has the tree anything to do with my ailment? I don't like the fact that I'm permanently confined in this one room. My princess, everything shall be over soon. You see, there are certain things that must be set ablaze in Eba Kingdom. And that is why the men are going to trace that tree. Pray that they succeed. Once they succeed, my princess, you shall be normal again.
already told you that you are part of the selected men that will be going to Eba tomorrow morning. Why are you not asleep? Why are you still walking around this palace seeking this door to knock at? As long as you keep calling me a bushman, note that I will not be going to Eba with you. Is that a threat? It is not a threat. I'm only telling you what I will do. I want you to realize that you're just a mere personal assistant imposed on me by wise Omesu. As the crown prince of this kingdom, I'll just send you out of this palace this night. All right. Well, I will not wait for that time. I will leave right away. Goodbye, my prince. Um, and then here. And then here, wait. Wait, wait. I know you're talking tough just because you believe you got us where it matters most. Okay. I agree. I will not call you a bushman again. But I want you to know that you compelled me to say this. We are going to Eba tomorrow. And I will deal with you. Not to worry, my prince. You will have more important things to deal with. And as such, you will not even remember harmless Enenye and Wite. Good night, my prince. As all things have refused to work, the remnants of the seductive power of the Queen of Sheba must work. If the wise ancient king couldn't withstand her charms, who is Ezra Balanze? Something new in you every new day. As he looks at you, the sun and the moon shall rise in your eyes. You are our Queen of Sheba. You are our last hope. Ah! Hmm. I bow before the princess of our land. I am not pleased with your greetings. Is it because I am not as strong as I used to be? That is why you will walk into my presence with a total stranger unannounced? I beg you, my princess. Do not crucify the hard-working God. Believe me, he will never do anything to undermine your status as the princess of this great kingdom. 
He is one of the very few people in this kingdom who would lay down their lives for you to live. My princess. Who are you? My name is Eneni Enwite Obonyuanko. I came to this kingdom as a helper. I have already assumed duties as the personal assistant to your brother, the prince. I have the blessings of your father, the king. And so you see, it will not be right for you to still address me as a stranger. Has he received my father's blessings as alleged? Yes, my princess. He is here by the express permission of the king. I think he has something to, to tell you. I'm listening. I need to speak to the princess alone. No, no. I mean, that is not possible. Yes, because there is no way I'm leaving you here with the princess. No, no way. I understand your position as the chief maid in the palace. You want the best for the princess. So do I. Tomorrow we will embark on a journey to Eba Kingdom. The princess has a role to play in our absence. It is not wise for her to remain bedridden as we leave. Are you telling me that you're here to heal the princess? Too many questions. Not good for the ministration. Leave now. Give me your royal chicken. Who are you? How can you possibly ask a princess for her waistband? My mother told me never to listen to anyone that would ask me to remove the waistband. Your mother was never the one who gave you that message. The very submission of the witches of Abomini used her face to make you the gift of the cursed Jigida that has kept you sick all these years. If not for a man like Omesi, you would have long died. He used his powers to keep you alive because he always knew that one day you will be completely healed. That day of good news is finally here. Take off that cursed Jigida. My mother told me never to listen to anyone that would ask me to remove the waistband. That is what you are doing. Like I said before, she was not your mother. The witches used her body to present you that gift because they knew that you will never ever disobey your mother. That cursed Jigida has kept you sick all these years. Take it off. You shall experience the kind of strength you have never, ever experienced in your life. What are you doing here? I For thought he asked you to wait outside. Forgive me, my princess. But I have to be here now to tell you that I've always been suspicious of that Jikidada that changes color like a million. I've always had these feelings, but I've never had the confidence of telling you. Now that he's here and he has confirmed it that it is evil, please, remove it. Please. You surprise me. Why are you saying this? I will die if I remove the Jigida. My princess, would I gain anything by leading you astray? I do not give life, so I cannot lead anyone to take his or her life. The witches know that you are destined to be a great woman. 
think so. They plotted to keep you right here. Break the Jigida and break the curse. Princess. Witchcraft is a terrible thing. And I mean terrible. They can use the face of anyone to manipulate anybody they like. They can also appear to be saving you when in truth they are killing you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you are happy. I see. And I am happy that you are happy. My princess, I will take my leave now. <laughs> I am happy for you. Oh, if I had the courage of questioning this Jigida, you wouldn't have been this sick. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say.
are you proving stubborn to a lady you're seeing for the first time? I came here to see the king, and I wouldn't want you to keep me waiting here for so long. I cannot usher you before the throne when the king is not there. Beautiful woman, how can I help you? Take me to the king immediately. As it pleases you. I would have finished you on this journey were it not that I remembered that you helped to heal my sister. The journey is so far, my prince. I suggest we concentrate. Men who have an important mission to save their land should not waste time talking like women. You call me a woman? This mission is already having problems. Abomi me! Surely it's under the leadership of a blind king. Where did this insane man come from? Why do you want to sentence yourself to death by calling my own father a blind king? The warriors of Almighty Abomimi are finally traveling to Eba because a stranger told them that the land will be better if they go to burn something at a bar kingdom, this is blindness, my prince. I am disappointed that my land is being ruled by a blind king who can give orders to the warriors because a stranger asked him to do so. Are you a man of our bomb, Mimi? This mission is a direct insult on our people. Our bomb, Mimi should not act based on the information of a stranger. I don't know what just happened. Oh, no, I don't understand what just happened. Do you know? That man may just be one of our ancestors that has come to warn us that we should not have listened to this man. That man is not one of your ancestors. He's not even an ancestor to anybody. That man is an enemy sent by the enemies of your land to thwart this mission. I say, we proceed. You've tried much to convince me that you mean well for our kingdom. But I'm sorry, I still don't believe you. I am sorry, your highness. I think this young man here is not an enemy. We have enough reasons to believe that he's here to save us. In that case, I want him to explain what his interest is in all this. Someone cannot just leave his kingdom and come to our kingdom to save our kingdom. What is he planning to gain? by the services he's rendering. My interest is to break the stronghold of witchcraft in this land. I cannot do this alone. I need the participation of everybody. So I say, it does not make sense we stand here arguing. Let us proceed, my prince.
tell me you don't like what you're seeing. Well, I would be lying if I say I don't like what I'm seeing because I love what I see. You consumed me. From the very first time I set my eyes on you. Well, that is because I'm the king. But well, let me ask you, don't be in a hurry to leave this palace. For we have a huge responsibility over here in the palace. My name is Nkiruka. What lies ahead is better and bigger than what we've seen already. I am the lady of the future. If I must stay here with you in the palace, I must know what my duties are. Well, a lot of ladies have tried all their lives to capture my attention and they have never succeeded. It is quite remarkable that you capture my attention upon our very first meeting, which means I see something special in you. Let me ask you, is there anything wrong in you staying here in the palace? As your wife, you mean? Well, what I feel for you is already stronger than what I felt for my ex-wife. I will give you access to my room where you can live with me in peace. I know you are a lady of the future. I want to be part of that future. This is the edge of death. I lifted it from the inner circle of the temple of the lords of the Aborigine. You must target the prince. Mystics will not be accommodated. Once I block the road, you must end this at the very heart of the prince. When I give down the prince, others will surely come after you. They may even lynch you in the process. So I think we need more men for this operation. Listen, listen to me, Bianale. In this well thought out operation, we don't need more men. All I need you to do is to concentrate. Concentrate here and target the prince and get him down. As for the rest, leave it to me. Okay, I'll handle it. Ah. Well, my joy knows no bounds today. My daughter is back on her feet. A cause for celebration. I am going to throw a big bash of a party soon, as soon as my son returns to the land. <laughs> Please sit, my dear. Thank you, Father. Yes, yes. <sighs> Father, I have no objection to that at all. I'm so happy to be whole again. Anything you want to do to <clears throat> celebrate the fact that I am well again, it's okay by me. That is my princess talking, yes. Yes, we will celebrate. And I've been thinking, yes. And I also, I will get a new wife. Yes, a young, beautiful wife. Yeah. And I want this wife in place already by the time we throw the party for celebration. Um, um, Father, do you think that is the best thing to do? Why not? Well, I know a lot of people might be upset with me for that decision. But, hey, it's the decision I've made. You are the king of Abo, Mimi. And I know that your word is law. But this issue of getting a new wife, it's, it's just not right. Why? So many people want you dead. So many would want to ruin the family. And that can only be achieved through the new wife you would want to get. Uh, my princess, you've resolved the issue by saying that I am the king, which I am. 
You do not just get the king by mere wishing you want to get him. No. And about the young wife that's coming in, if she decides to come between my children and I, then I will show her the way out of my palace. <laughs> that promise I can give you. But I will have this young wife in place. All my life, I have so much desire to serve the great people of Abomini. Who are you? And why do you want to serve the people of Abomini? Eze Agbalanze is a very, very brave man. You see, witchcraft and sorcery still abound greatly in the kingdoms around here because none of their kings, none! been able to summon the moral audacity to crush this wickedness from the dark. Except Eze Abalanze. <laughs> He's truly, truly a great man. And I love him for that. I don't know why I find it difficult to believe you. enemy of our kingdom came to kill me and one of you saved my life. Who is he that saved the life of the prince? Do you know anything about what just happened? I am just as surprised as everybody. That was a clear attack on your life. And I believe the God saved you. I think we should proceed. It was your machete that killed the man that came to kill me. Can you explain what happened? I don't know what happened. I'm even surprised that my machete is not with me. I'm surprised. That you are looking for the man when you are looking at the man. Are you confirming to me that you saved my life? I saved your life because I want to serve your land. Your death would have brought great sorrow to the kingdom of Abomini. I saved you. Because I don't want to serve a kingdom mourning a promising prince. I like this man. <laughs> I like this man. You want to serve my land? I can tell you here and now that you will serve my land. For traveling to your kingdom, come with us. But my, my prince. Sorry, do you want to take this man along? With all due respect, my prince, I say no. I don't even know why you're still here. But for this man, I would have been a dead man. He's coming with us. And if there is anyone here who is not happy with my decision, the person can go back to Abomimi and wait.
In you lies the mystery of the powers of our body. The secret of our survival and existence is hidden inside you. This is why I always approach you with extra, maximum holiness and humility. Everything is wrong in a bomb. I can tell you that everything is working anti-clockwise in this kingdom. And in a time like this, I want you to make an appearance and show me the way forward. Because I am nothing, I say nothing, without you. Show me the way forward. I humble myself before the messenger masquerade of Omelabo Nabomimi. Aka Luciangene, Ekulungene. That proverb cannot be for me because I have never undermined the powers of Omelabo that bombed me. I am here actually because I am confused about the things happening around us. And I have been seeking for directions from great Omelabo that bombed me. The Omelabo you came to seek is angry with you. Count yourself lucky that Omelabo is no longer living in the safe. He would have killed you for coming before him. I don't understand what you mean by Omelabo. He's no longer living in this sacred abode of his. And what do you mean by he is angry with me? Why? Oganigwe forced his wife, Nwoku, to leave a bomb, Meme. That noble woman. That noble woman was maltreated for voicing the truth that Oganigwe never wanted to hear. That truth came from Omelabo. The reason was to set the record straight. Nwoku was disgraced out of the land, and the truth was swept under the carpet. I want to ask you, what did you do then? What did you do then? You did nothing. And that negligence has forced Tomelabo to leave this land. I'm surprised that it took you all these years to appear before the Asian safe. Can I tell you that this is unbelievable? This is unbelievable. If Omelabo no longer lives in this ancient city. Where does he live? Pumelabo lives in the forest of Upene. Don't ever go there. Because if you do, you will die. If you want the way forward, then you must send the child Shimbo. The woman that was disgraced for being barren now has a son. The Melabo will not kill that son of hers because she's the woman after his heart. 
Let the son of Nwoku trace the forest of Open. And on Melabo, we show him the way forward. They have traced the tree where the deadly threads are hanging. They have lowered the threads and about to set them ablaze. What would you have me do? Do not bother yourself anymore with the mission to Iba Kingdom. If they're alive, they can set the entire Iba Kingdom ablaze. Mma has used the face of the beauty of Abalambo to steal the heart of Ezra Balanze. The man has already proposed to her. The destruction of Abomini Kingdom and Ezra Balanze are nearer than we had expected. <laughs> hey, you! I left you to set the threads ablaze because I can't stand the smell of burning threads. Have you finished with that? Can you be gracious enough to tell me what you came to this edge to do? Hush, hush, hush. I'm not answerable to you. I'm only answerable to the prince. And by the way, why are you monitoring my movements and actions? I know the very reason you joined this mission. There is no other reason apart from the fact that I've come to serve the great king, Ambalanze. If you like, don't believe me. You may believe whatever you like. <laughs> Trust the wizard and die. I will never, ever trust the wizard. Um, I want you to make it brief. Why did you call me out here? My prince, that man you made part of us, he is evil. He is a wizard. He has telepathic powers. And he's using those powers to send information of whatever we are doing here to his people somewhere far away from here. I beg you, ask him to leave. Sometimes when I listen to you, I cannot but remember that you are a bush man. Why are you doing everything possible for me to hate someone that saved my life? That man is just an imposter. He was never the one who saved your life. I'm asking you now, who did? My prince, you were saved by the gods. The gods of Abomimi, not that man. That man is evil. His presence is evil and it is affecting us. Please, you must dismiss him now. I cannot dismiss him because I already gave him my word that I will take him to the king. I've already lowered down the threads of evil you identified. We'll set them up, please, and we'll go back to our land. But I want you to prepare your mind, because that man is traveling with us. Evil may be celebrated for quite a while, but it shall never, ever triumph over the truth. Never. The messenger Masquerade told you all that? Yes, Your Majesty. The messenger Masquerade said all this. The only person that can go to Melabo as we speak is the son of Moku. <laughs> Amazing. Are you alright? Moku has no son. She was a barren woman. We, with all due respect, Your Majesty, the right thing for us to say is that our own Oganibwe was an impotent man. Amazing. How dare you speak evil of the dead? Oganigwe married a barren woman who could not bear a child. Mokun was not a barren woman. When she was fired from this kingdom, she met a man of Imezi that married her briefly. That man from Imezi did in just one month what our 
Organigo was unable to do in years, he got more pregnant and she bore him a son. That son of hers is the only one that can appear before Omelabo and leave. Come here, Zoro. Where do you get all these stories? Mofu is still alive, Your Majesty. She actually wrote me a letter that I still have in my custody. The same visitor from Imezi who saw the revelation. The same man you made part of the delegation to Iba Kingdom. He is the son of Moku. And I can tell you that he remains the only one that can see Omelabo and leave. You. Strange things are happening in the land, my queen. Strange things. Your Majesty, who is this woman? Who is this woman that has the temerity to walk into the throne room and sit right on the legs of the king? Ah, her name is Nkiruka. Sorry I couldn't tell you because it was urgent. But I already sent some elders of the land to Abanabo to perfect all the protocols of her bride price. She is my queen. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable, Your Majesty. You mean to tell me that you did all that without telling me? Well, it's my life. And it's all about me. But don't you worry. Everything has been perfected down. She now lives with me as my queen. Well, hey, uh, this is Omezu here. He's the only sorcerer we have left here. Uh, we have him because uh, his own witchcraft is positive. He does no evil. But don't worry. You will get used to him and his holiness in the palace. Oh, for me, sir. this is bothering you. I mean, your father has tried to remain single all these years after the untimely death of your mother. So many men would have been married the very year they buried their wives. But he didn't. He stayed single. If he had decided to, to get another wife for himself now, I think you should be happy. Yes. Something tells me that there is something weird about the woman my father decided to marry with unexplainable urgency. Word. I mean, how do you mean word? When my father was introducing the woman to me, there was that same evil Jigida hanging round her neck. And then the Jigida was changing from one color to the other, right on her neck. I'm sorry, my princess, but do you ever think that such a thing is possible? I mean, a woman with such outstanding beauty and class, she will never wear a, a waistband around her neck, no. It was not in real life. My eyes were open. My inner eyes were open and I was seeing beyond the physical. I strongly believe that she has something to do with that same evil Jigida that kept me down for years. Yes. Your Majesty. I brought you into this strong room where we kept all the powers we inherited from our ancestors. All the powers that make you relevant are here. And I know you will not tell me lies. I am expecting you to tell me the truth. Where did you get that woman? And why were you in such a hurry to detail elders to perfect a bright prize without even mentioning it to me, Your Majesty? The woman in question is already my queen. 
I am not happy that you have brought me here to discuss her. Your Majesty, I am sorry, but I want to remind you that you were the one that made the declaration alone. But I have reason to believe that you may have been hypnotized. Hypnotized? What nonsense. I am the king. Now, how could you have thought someone hypnotized me? By who? You do not look good. What is the problem? Your Majesty, I had a terrible dream last night. All about you. And I'm very bothered. I want us to deal with it. May I hear this dream? Your Majesty, I saw you getting married to a very strange woman with four eyes. Two in the front, two at the back. She was a terrible woman. And you refused to tell anybody where you got such a terrible woman from. Eventually, you were showing her the kind of love you never showed anybody. You never even showed your wife. Ultimately, that strange woman with four eyes destroyed this kingdom because I saw her practically urinating on your head. And I, and I, I woke up and it was a dream, Your Majesty. A dream is baseless. For I have no woman in my life. The only woman in my life now is my daughter, the princess. And she is sick, which is my concern now. Besides, I will not bring any woman into my life now because such woman will stand between my children and I. Your Majesty, can I take what you just said as a royal promise from the king? Can I? Yes, most definitely. This is the promise I made today, the 20th day of April, 1990. You can hold on to that. Your Majesty, do you still remember the promise you made me on the 20th of April, 1990? Well, whatever promise that was made in 1990 has been overtaken by events. Our name is Nkeruka, which means that which is ahead is bigger and better. Now let's look into the future and stop worrying about what happened in the past. The sun rises in your eyes. And, and I tell you, I know you are the future of this kingdom. How is a wise man, Omezu? Ah, uh, Omezu. Oh, yes, uh, Omezu is busy making credible decisions for this kingdom. But, but something we forget sometimes is that he is a sorcerer. I admitted into this palace due to his noble qualities. My king, you sound as if you'll fall out with him someday. No, 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 not at all. His life and my life are tied together. And uh, we, we, there's no possibility of us falling out uh, with one another. You know, uh, but we may disagree here and there with one thing or another. But we almost always immediately come back together and agree. Oh, but I can tell you, Omezu is a noble man of this land. He is.
What makes you think I'll be comfortable with a liar hanging around me? Watch your tongue. Watch your tongue. You have no right whatsoever to call me a liar. You. You lied your way into the heart of the prince. You have bewitched them with your witchcraft, I know. And I ask you, what do you want from their land? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is this possibly why you woke me up and brought me to this corner? Why? Why, my friend? Are you such a terrible, terrible royal walker? If you must know, the prince now sees me as a partner. That's why he wants me to come along. <laughs> By the way, I don't know why you're asking very useless questions. Well, you can laugh all you want. I know this. I do not talk too much. One day, I will prove that you are a wizard. And when I do, already housing two powers that are independently bigger than witchcraft and sorcery. And mark these words. Anyone I kill with this sword on account of witchcraft or sorcery will not be buried. I will call upon the vultures of Abominate to feed on your evil cups. Link with the Almighty Omelabo Fabo. Leave that young man alone and concentrate with what you are doing. When we finally destroy the king and take over the kingdom, we will place him where he should be. Things did not gel in my thoughts. Why was Dad in such a hurry to settle down with the woman? At least he could have waited for my brother to return. She was the first person to come to the kitchen this morning. To do what? She came to tell the cook what she would eat. And guess what? She shocked the cook with her choice of breakfast. I mean, she, she wants something extremely heavy. And the cook was like, how can such a lady want something extremely heavy in the morning? I don't know. I just pray we get to discover who this woman is before it becomes too late. I just pray. Yeah, I pray so too. So, what would you like to eat? Don't worry, I don't want to eat anything. If I'm hungry, Whatever the cook serves, I'll eat. Okay, well, please calm your nerves. There we are, thank you. Your days are numbered. 
you outlawed sorcery because you think you have other means of sustaining yourself. You banished witchcraft because you want to please your children. I am going to prove to you that you are nothing without sorcery and the witchcraft. Yes, who is there? The royal cook. Please open the door. A moment, please. Shock. A beautiful queen like you demanded for pounded yam and bitter leaves for breakfast. The breakfast is ready on the royal dining table, but I'm yet to come to terms with the contrast. You are a fool. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but pounded yam for breakfast is strange. Get out of my sight! Please don't be angry with me. Please. I'm sorry. Were it not for him, I would have been a dead man. He saved my life. So I brought him back home for real blessing. You're welcome, sir. Thank you, Your Majesty. And you're quite right. He deserved to be blessed. So what would you have me do for you? To be very honest, Your Majesty, I am deeply satisfied just being close to you. This very experience of seeing the great Eze Abalanze face to face. Oh, thank my stars. It's one I will cherish for the remaining days of my life. Father, bless this man. He already told me he wants to serve you. He holds you in high esteem because of the way you dealt with witchcraft in our land. I think he will be a fulfilled man if he is allowed to serve you. Well, the man who saved the prince's life can save the king's life. Oh, yes. And is qualified to serve in the palace. I have no objection to that. Omezu. Your Majesty. Any objections? The prince has already granted him access before your royal presence. Sincerely, I have no objections. Very well. Kneel before the king. May the girls of Abomemi bless you. And your sojourn in our land be prosperous. Can I hear exactly what you want to say? We must be very careful with that man. I have reason to believe he is an evil schemer. Let me hear your reason. He came together with the man who attacked the prince. I believe they planned the attack together. The man was about to pull the trigger on the prince from his hidden position when I ended him with the knife on the waist of the guard. I did this with the powers of imagination that I have. Are you actually telling me you were the one that killed the man? Exactly. I decided to keep quiet when the prince was asking who saved him. And then that liar came forward and claimed he did. So why didn't you tell me this before you went to see the king? 
I felt he would be intimidated by the presence of the king. I am surprised he remained calm and sustained his lies. We must unmask him. We must unmask him before he destroys something important. My biggest problem right now is that I can no longer unmask anything. The great Omelabo of Abomeme is no longer living in his original abode, and that is a big problem for me. But I think you are the one we are going to guide. You are the one that will unmask what is happening around here. I am sorry, sir, but I do not understand you. I cannot unmask anything. Of course, you can't. But I'm going to guide you to meet Omelabo of Abomeme. Omelabo is the great masquerade of Abomeme people. You will meet with Omelabo, and he is going to unmask what is happening around here. I want you to understand that this is a very delicate issue. I understand all your fears. But we must realize that our father has already married her. So we don't have any other option than to accept her as his wife. There's something I'm very sure of, which you must verify. The woman our father married is not ordinary. Why do you say that? I have this belief that she's a witch. Yes, she has a connection with the evil Jigida that I wore for years that almost destroyed me. Every time I see her, I see the evil Jigida hang around her neck. It could be possible that you're imagining these things just because you hate her. I'm very sorry, Odilibe. But you have to realize that you are my last hope. I love Father very much. And I don't want him to die now. No, nothing will happen to him. I love him too. Nothing. If that evil woman destroys our father, this land is destroyed. And we will become subject of mockery everywhere. Think about it. Women know themselves. She must have seen something. Adana cannot be ignored. We have tried in the past to gain access into this room, but it never worked. This is where all the powers in this kingdom are kept. Inside this room, Lies the secrets of Omesu. Try and gain access into the secret safe and try to exhume some powers. Get down to work. You have limited time.
That is very thoughtful of you. But I want to sound this note of warning. Next time you feel like killing any place in this palace, exclude this room. I am not ever comfortable with anybody coming into this room without my consent. Get out. Very well taken, sir. I promise it will never happen again. Get out! Open up to me. You're looking at me. And it is clear you do not like me. Why would you choose to hate someone that has done you no wrong? There was an evil Jigida. That one witch named Mma used the face of my late mother to give to my sister as a lifetime gift. This Jigida nearly destroyed her life. Do you know anything about this evil waste band? Ah, oh, I am new in this palace. Believe me, I do not know much that has been happening before my arrival. Some people that have more seeing powers than I say that whenever they look at you, they see that evil Jigida hanging around your neck. How can you say you don't know anything about what is hanging around your neck? these people that are trying to associate me with evil. I asked you a question. You have not answered me. I will ask you again. Do you know anything about this strange chicky that nearly destroyed my sister? All my life, I have never worn chicky Because I never liked it. Look, I do not know anything about your Jigida. And I will appreciate it so much if you leave me now. I'm the prince of this kingdom. And the heir apparent to the throne. You would not make any headway without me. Tell me what I want to hear. Odilibe, prince of Abo Mimi kingdom. I do not know what you want to hear from me, and I cannot tell you what I do not know. Prince Odilibe of Abonimi Kingdom. 
why are you digging your own grave? Why? Amam inene no manya omelabo Bota kigo simuzo mwo Asigi che kwa bobo di neme pie Ndia mosu nandi me bijirisi oche Obodo nile na juzi anya jojo Kedo Eba nyi si me fie no bodo Pota ki go si mo zo mwo Pota ki go si ndi go zo Pota ki go si mo zo mwo Pota ki go si ndi go zo Before the great Omelabo of Abomini. Great one, we understand you left Abomini a long time ago. In the event of your exit, too many things have gone wrong. The land is in disarray as witchcraft and sorcery now dominate the hearts of men. So I have come to seek your direction, great one. Please, what do we do? There are two powers that already gain ground in the palace. There is the male power. And there is the female power. They appear to be different. But they are the same. You must unmask the male before you go for the female. Great one, I want to ask you. Is the male one and the same as Anele? And the female one and the same as Nkiru? Their target is the destruction of our boy Mimi. They have gained ground. The land is destroyed. When the king is destroyed, and the destruction of the king is very imminent. Unmask the male before the female. Do this before it becomes too late. Thank you, Great One. I'm sorry to say this. How can you marry a lady that you know little or nothing about her background? And who says I know nothing about her background? She is from Abuanabo. And the elders that I sent to her family told me and they confirmed that she's from a great and noble family. But how dare you speak evil of a woman that your father loves so much and who cherishes your father so much? Your Majesty, she has a connection with the evil Jigida that nearly destroyed Adana. Send her away, please. Listen to me. Send her away before she settles. 
Well, you are judging my queen based on what your sister told you. That is unacceptable. It is not. And that's not good for you. A man who will one day become a king. Your judgment should be based on facts. Everyone in this palace sees this lady as evil. As a time bomb waiting to explode. You are the only one that sees that lady as a noble woman. And with all due respect, I disagree with you, Your Majesty. Well, now, let this be the last time you will discuss my queen. Be ah, that's my queen. Always ravishing. Ravishing and lovely. Your Majesty. I bless you, dear. Majesty. Your presence is where I always want to be. You're welcome, my presence, my dear. You're quite welcome. Thank you. Relax. We were just in the uh, in the family meeting, and it's good you are here for your family. <laughs> your Majesty, I'm sorry. Um, she's not part of the discussion we have, so she cannot be part of this meeting. Why not? It is part of the family. She is part of the family. And we're discussing family issues. You made her part of this family without consulting anybody. So Adana and I have refused to recognize her as part of this family. You may continue with that. My king. Hmm. I don't know where I've gone wrong. Wow. Look, my king, I have plans for this land. I know. And it cannot work out like this if your son is against me. But why worry about my son? I am the man you're in love with. I am the man you married. Uh -huh. I should be your concern. Hmm? Just keep loving me and all will be well. Hmm? <laughs> Come here. Unacceptable to me. What are you doing in my room? Everything was on reverse. People were running with their backs and not their fronts. What does that mean? I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Who gave you this bottle and what does it do for you? It contains the seed of reverse. Find how to put it in the ancient safe of Abomimi. Once it is done, the kingdom will permanently be on reverse. The king will 
destroy himself and die. Then we can return to our land. This mission is very crucial to us. Make no mistakes. Do not make any mistake. I understand the importance of this mission. I shall not disappoint. Countenance betrays you. It is obvious you are hiding something. I ask again where did you get this bottle and what does it do for you? This bottle is my property. I don't want you ever coming in my room searching my things. I will unmask you, and when I finally do, I will call upon the vultures of Abomime to feed on your evil cops. Remember that. intruding into your privacy. But I have to say something. I think you have judged that woman wrongly. By that woman, are you referring to Nkiru? Yes, Your Highness. Sit down. What makes you think so? Your Highness. That woman is not the problem in this palace. She is not the problem. She... I, I can categorically tell you that she is... She is a saint. Yes, a saint. That can save this land. Is that that Bushman called the Nini? He is the true problem in this palace. And if you sincerely want this problem to be solved, then you must, Your Highness, you must send him away from this land. Our problems with Enemy are quite alright, but I can hardly believe that he's the problem in this land. Why would you wish to exonerate that woman? Fine. I'll tell you something about Enemy. This enemy of the kingdom came into this land with a curse. Curse that is reversing everything you do here. This this hideous charm was manufactured in Maisie. And the single purpose of this charm is to make this kingdom as backward as in Maisie. If you really want this charm to be destroyed, 
your highness, then you must banish, banish in any. This is very serious. Are you sure of what you're saying? Certainly, your highness, certainly. The, the only obstacle we might encounter is the fact that uh, that wise Omiso has come to trust this enemy so much. That, that poor woman you have tagged evil. No, 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 no. She's not evil at all. She's not evil. She, she was only trying to make the palace lively by making the king happy. She is completely harmless, Your Highness. If you hate her, you hate her for nothing. Amam inene no manya omelabo, bota kigo si muzo muo. Asigi che kwa bobo di ne me bie Ndi amosu nandi me biji isi oche Obodo nile na juzi anya jojo Kedo eba nisi me fie no obodo Pota kigo si muzo muo Pota do you know why I called you here? No, wise one. You know, it is clear to me you've made up your mind to seduce the prince. May I know why? I'm sorry, wise one, but I don't know what you mean by seduce the prince. Was it because of the dance? You call it dance? Listen to me. I was the one that ended the so-called dance. And I know exactly what I saw before I ended it up. Do not ever be the one that will throw yourself at the prince. Wait for the prince to be the one that will come for you. It is the prince himself who has always been inviting me to dance for him. I have never entered his room uninvited. In the deepest part of your heart, you know exactly what I am saying. I called you here to remind you that here in Abom in the kingdom, women do not throw themselves at men because they know it is sacrilegious for them to do so. They wait for the men to come for them. You are free to go dancing for the prince when you are called to do so. But let it be just dance. Do not smuggle in any strange steps into it. Use your beauty to edify this palace, to sanctify this place, not to destroy what we have, the sanctity we've managed to put in place. Why is the wise one reading meanings into my innocent downstairs? Why? The substance is the only thing that can save you. Uh, save me from what, Great One? His plot against you is deadly. Sprinkle it along the way that you are sure he would use. Once he steps into the sprinkled zone, you shall discover the man behind the man. What about the woman? 
Unmask the man first. Once you reveal the man behind the man, the woman behind the woman would be no. Thank you, Great One. You don't like me. May I know why? I never said I hate you. There is something weird about you that no one knows. I am a woman like you. Confide in me. What is your mission in this palace? You should know that I am your stepmother. And that you should accord me with the respect of a mother. I take that as an insult to my mother and a deliberate attempt to provoke me. You are not my mother because you are a strange woman. My mother was a noble woman. Are you indirectly saying that I am not a noble woman? In Kiruka or whatever they call you, I am not comfortable with your presence in my room. Your presence scares me. Please don't come to my room again. I am trying everything possible to become your friend. But you are raising war against me. I am wondering why you look innocent yet wicked. There is something about you that you are hiding from everyone in this palace. But my brother and I will find out. Why do you find it difficult to believe me? Trace the origin of all the crises in this palace and you will discover that all of them started with the emergence of Enenyewit. I want you to banish that man before he reverses us back to their primitive level in Imezi. My prince, with all due respect, I'm going to tell you that presently we have two evil powers residing in this palace, doing everything possible to destroy the king and the land. The first is in Kiru. The strange woman the king married without discussing with anybody. Then the second is Anele, the spy you brought back with you. I disagree with you. I disagree completely. I have personally traced the origin of all these problems. And they all started with saying in here. Okay. This bottle will unmask the man behind the man. And once we unmask the man, the woman would be easy. Which man are you talking about? I have been working with the great Omelabo of Abomini. And we are on the verge of solving the problems in this land. What is he talking about? Who told him about Omelabo? And how can he possibly be working with them? My prince, I know you. You are an intelligent man of this kingdom and you understood exactly what he said. He has been working closely with the great of Melabo all in an effort to save this land. He is not our problem. We have to be mature and face our problem. Are you telling me that you have been working with the great Omelabo for real? Yes, my prince. I am just coming from his presence. He instructed me. He said I should sprinkle this on the way Aniele would use. And once he crosses the spot, the true man behind his mission 
will be revealed. I will only believe when I see you. What do we do? He asked that you come with me. Listen, at least you, you, you burst in on me in the middle of something. Give me two minutes. Let me round off what I was doing. This matter bothers on the future of this kingdom, and it is way bigger than whatever rubbish you are doing in the comfort of your room. If you are sure you are here to serve this kingdom, then you must come with me now. After you. If it turns out that Anele is a spy sent to destroy this land, I will kill him myself. Your Highness, you don't have to kill anybody. His own evil shall find him out. Planning evil against me. What are you up to? I'm not planning anything. Greater mess you sent for you. Move. Very V. I'll take another route to him. Confess your mission here. Masked Anel, and they are now closing in on you. You must be very careful before it gets too late. What is the problem with you, my king? You look weak. Now go ahead. Anneli was a spy. Yes. 
He was sent by a man called Osaswa, the worst enemy of this kingdom. I'm worried. Because there is no telling what they have uncovered. Anele wasn't the problem of this land. Ah, my trusted queen seems to have uncovered the problem. Please tell me, what is the problem? Your son and daughter must be banished. What? Why? My king, you don't need to argue with me on this. Because I know what the problem of this land is. As long as the prince and the princess remain here, the kingdom will continue to wallow in problems. A tough request to make of me, my queen. Because my daughter reminds me of my mother. And the prince reminds me of my grandfather. See, banishing them, it's, it's, it's like banishing my ancestors. It seems you do not trust me. I am leaving you to face your destruction. Your son and daughter will stay with you as I leave. And you will surely lose your kingdom. And when that eventually happens, you will remember that I told you to solve this problem once and for all and you refused. And where will you go? To Abanago, of course. Continue with your children. Uh, wait, wait. You can't live like this. You, you, you are the queen. I will, I will conform with your request. There are certain things I just can't believe. The letter you left in my office, saying that the prince and the princess are banished from this kingdom. Yeah. Did you write it for you? I don't. What, what does that mean? I am Ezi Agbalaji, the ruler, the paramount ruler of this land, and I have banished the prince and the princess from this land. You know this? The how? I have spoken. Face. 
You are shouting and I don't like anybody shouting at me. Now don't tell me you're angry. I've got good news for you. See, I have banished the evil children. They're gone. So now we have all the time to ourselves. Come. You don't need any soothsayer to tell you that the king has finally fallen under the grip of the same evil powers we have labored over the years to destroy. My greatest frustration right now is that Omelabo is angry with me. Do you want me to go back to him? I can do that if you think it will help. I mean, in a time like this, going to Omelabo is the only thing that we can think of. And I want you to go to Melabo and ask him to wait for me. All right, wise one. But I think it is late already. Before I can get to the forest of Opene, it will be dark. Do you think the great Omelabo will listen to me at night? Why he still lived here in this ancient cell? Countless number of times I consulted him at night. And he listened to me. I believe he will listen to you, and I want you to set out for the forest of Open Air. Okay, wise one. I'll leave immediately. Odogwo 
me lavo, okwa gi kam na bo. Odogu o me lavo, abo mi 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 bigo. Odogu o me lavo, kuti lo bia wan moku. Kamali fem ge me no bo de mi bigo. Onye ze ye li wu obala bananti. Robodo etie no rakalo Kosi ni muzo kaidi kaidi nambo Does it mean the, the great Omela boy is also angry with me? If that happens, we are doomed. And I mean, we are doomed. One thing I don't want is for you to be angry. Whatever the problem is, you tell me, and together we will solve it. I am not happy because the king is not willing to solve the problem of this land. Why would you say such a thing, my queen? You asked me to banish my children from this kingdom, and I've done just that. And I promise you that they will never return to this land. You are to bear me a child that will reign after me. That is exactly what I am saying. The elders of this community are meeting in secret places. And I know what they are planning. They are planning to make everything impossible for my son to emerge as king. It is impossible. My dear. It is impossible because they know that my word is law in this kingdom. You are to call my son. And I will declare. Uh, apparent. You bring out the best in me when you smile at this. Well, I know my plan was I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, it is done. Banish the elders. The elders in council? How is that possible? I do not want you to argue with me on this. I know what these elders are planning. They are trying to terminate royalty from this family. We must destroy them before they destroy us. I want you to issue the statement of punishment and I want you to issue it now.
Why are you bothered about the future of the people that humiliated your mother? Great Omelabo. Thank you. Thank you. My mother was humiliated into her destiny. And she is forever grateful for that timely humiliation. Abomimi is a shadow of her former self. For a woman who is perceived to be extremely evil and wicked has caged the great heirs Abalanze of Abomimi. The king is destroying everything. And we all know that real soon, the entire land will be totally destroyed. And that's what I want. I told your mother what they would do in Abomimi to banish witchcraft permanently. They refused to listen to her. They called her names and banished her from the land. I want a Bormimi kingdom to be destroyed because they sowed the seed of destruction when they refused to listen to Woku. Oh, oh, great one, great one, please, please don't go. Please, please, please listen to me, don't go. Hi. Great Omelabo. Great Omelabo. Wodogu. Wodogu. Please. Please. My mother has already forgiven them. That is why she sent me back here. Please, I beg you, forgive them too. Ah, please. They have learned their lesson. Don't, don't be too harsh on them. There are scales of evil covering the eyes of the king. The witches are teleguiding the king into unpopular decisions. And it will continue like that until the day men shall see tears in the eyes of the king. Oh, great one, great one, please, please. Make it clearer to me. I beg you. Find anything that can make the king to cry. Once he shed tears, the evil scales covering the eyes would fall off. The land would get better when this happens. Go. Go. And start something. <laughs> understand what is going on. I, I have practically sent out all the powers against him. But I don't know why he still doubts what I say. And why he's reluctant to execute my orders. Always realize that you are dealing with a king. He has loads of charms that are fighting us. And always be patient and realize that we are going to win this war. Only God knows what the witches are planning against innocent people. 
Come back here. You forbidden maid. Is it me you are insulting? There is only one woman I respect in this palace. Her name is Princess Adana. Because of some physical demons in this palace, she has been banished. If you ever make the mistake of calling me names again, we will reduce this fight into a physical combat. And when that time comes, I will kill you. Don't push yourself into your grave tonight, or I'll gladly put you in there and bury you. Why are you saving that maid? Save your weapons for the man war. Leave the maid alone.
Uh, I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but I don't understand what this means. If you look at that carefully, I'm very sure you will understand what is there. All elders in council are banished from this land, and that order from the king is revocable. Your Majesty, there are certain things you just cannot say. How can you possibly banish all the elders that sit in council? Ah. But they are the problems of this land. I know what they're planning. They must all go. And if by tomorrow noon, I found them here, oh, they all will be treated like common criminals. Your Majesty. I have spoken. This kingdom is finally destroyed. What am I going to do? He said that once the king sheds tears, the evil scales will fall off his eyes. Why can't we do that? Do you actually think it is easy to make a man cry? Listen, even if all men will begin to cry, is a balance that I know. He will never cry. If you are sure that is the case, it can only mean one thing. Which is? We are destroyed. Melabo said the king must shed tears for the evil scales to fall off his eyes. Get Ezamalanzi to shed tears. How is that ever possible? I mean, how are we going to achieve that? I don't know what's happening to me. I'm, <laughs> I'm just too excited. <laughs> Listen, sweetheart. I know why you're excited. You were excited because you are getting married to the one that you love. I know. I know. <laughs> and it's enough reason for you to get excited. Um, but... Do you think it is right for me to get married while on exile? Exile? Sweetheart, this is not an exile. You are just the one that is seeing this as an exile. Listen, your evil father banished you because of a woman. And the best you can do now is to ignore him and move on with your life. Listen, I'm presenting you an opportunity to proceed without a king. Let's get married, raise a family. The king could come later. And you know what? Then we will give him our own condition. What do you mean? Um, this is the man I told you about. Gosiara. I know. I don't like this man. My friend, take down your hand. There's something about this guy's aura that I'm not comfortable with. Aura? What do you mean by aura? I don't think I know anything about you. But I want you to leave my sister alone. Oh, Dilibe, like you rightly said, you don't know anything about him. Why would you dismiss him? I've made mistakes in the past with witches and wizards. I can see clearly now. Even if this man is not a wizard, 
He has strong links with wizards. I don't want him anywhere near you. If you know what's good for you, don't ever come here again. Why's your brother being so uptight and unnecessarily difficult? Huh? What, what, what? So now listen, I love you. And that's why I came to you. Okay? Listen, we have to convince him to realize that we are genuinely in love. Are you in any way connected to the witchcraft in my kingdom? What? Are you accusing me and doubting me? Not because of what he said? Are you not calling me a wizard? Sweetheart. Sweetheart, I'll... I can't believe this. You, you can't do this to me. Listen, I love you. Sweetheart, listen. listen. Well, you know, you are all I have left. And I'm contented with that. I'm grateful. You know, my king, I may not ultimately be the best. But I'm so lucky that I'm counted among the best. Uh. My king, you are a project. And I'm going to get committed to you until we die. Yeah, very good, my dear. Ha! Ha! Your Majesty. Tragedy has befallen this kingdom, Your Majesty. Great to mess with. What tragedy? Tragedy. Ha! Your Majesty. Come with me and behold the ruins you brought upon yourself, Your Majesty. Come with me, Your Majesty. Can you just come with me, Your Majesty? Ah! Oh. Mm. Your Majesty, behold the remains of the prince and the princess of Apomeme Kingdom. You killed your son and your daughter. You banished them for telling you the truth, Your Majesty. And I'm asking you, are they also banished in debt? No, no. No! <laughs> no. Ah! I am finished! I'm finished. Chip 
You are a fool to ever think you can banish us from this land and have peace. Yeah. I am one and the same with Sinkiru. And I can tell you, your reign is complete. You are one and the same as Sinkiru. You are Sinkiru! I brought this upon myself. I ruined myself. <laughs> Your Majesty. Your children are not dead. Do you mock me now? What do you mean they are not dead? <laughs> they are dead. <laughs> they are dead. <laughs> Your Majesty. What you're asking us to do is too risky. What if we drink the poison and pass out permanently? My prince, far be it from me that I will ever take the life of anyone. It's not possible. What I present is a substance that will knock you out for a few hours. I want the king to shed tears. When the king sheds tears, the evil scales covering his eyes will fall off and he will become normal again. This is the only thing we must do to save our kingdom and I want both of you to do it. I'm sorry, sir. I will not do it. Princess Adana, if you love your father, you will do this. If you love our kingdom, you will do this. You see, there are men that actually lay down their lives just to make their kingdoms great. If what I'm asking you to do tonight is the only thing you will do to make our kingdom great again, then I sincerely believe that both of you will give this sincere consideration.
What? What is the meaning of this? There was only one leaf we kept here. How come we now have different leaves from different plants? Even fresh. Now the king had always wanted it. You are alive! You are alive! Oh. Rice. Rice. Rice, my daughter. Never, never again will I allow myself to be consumed by the vanity of this life. Never, never. <laughs> 